Yo, dog, Katie Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days, coming to you from the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. We're doing it again with Crimson Fist style. This is one of those Japanese character models. I've had them for a while. We just threw a couple of coats of primer on them. Some of that red showing through, no big deal. Secret Weapon is the name of the game today. We're going to be using some of their Mecha line, Titan Dark Navy in the pot. I love this color. I've used it a couple times. We're going to do something kind of offhand right now. This kind of proves the flexibility of Secret Web Miniatures. This is one of their washes. This is just simply named Black Blue. Their washes are more akin to glazes in the traditional sense that it's really, really thin paint with a little medium. That's it. There's nothing crazy to it. So you can just throw this in the pot if you like the color. You gotta darken the color. So we're using Black Blue Wash to darken our Titan Dark Navy giving it a really interesting deep blue. We're gonna use this now and go over our light prime job, which you can still see some of the red poking through because these Japanese character models come uh, pre-colored plastic. Really interesting. I noticed that it's supposed to be Blood Angel in the artwork, but there's nothing defining this Marine as any Legion. So you know what I haven't done ever before on our channel is Crimson Fist. So I put very little thought into what our color workups would be. I opened my drawer, looked through some of my Secret Web miniature paints, picked out a few colors so that's how easy this can be we're, when we're talking curves of fist we're talking about a really dark blue so i want rich blues i don't want any of that faded crap i don't want any like ultramarine or any purples infiltrating it i want it to be true blue it can have other qualities to it but let's keep it on the blue side of the spectrum by mixing this black blue wash into this titan dark navy we get that midnight blue that i'm chasing we're gonna do several thin coats here we're gonna go over all the primer, try to make sure all that red that's poking through in some of the crevices is transformed back to this. Don't worry though, if the little red shows through, we'll, we'll clean that up in the later stage of this video. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now, Crimson Fist, dark blue. You don't wanna transition it too hard. Now that's the same issues you have with like Black Legion or any of these other really dark armors like uh, Dark Angels. Cause if you start doing too much transition, if you get too hyphy, it's it suddenly your dark angel is a salamander, you know? So one last pass. I'm going to thin down the mix a little bit more. This is one of my favorite techniques. You get all your base coats done. You want to creep into those crevices, but you don't want to thicken it up on the, the flats. You, you're going in with paint water now. Just aiming at those recesses. We're going to switch it up. Tighten dark navy. We're going to put it in the pot. We're not going to use any of the dark black blue wash and we're just going to create that mid-tone transition that the next level painting system is known for this is going to be what marries us into our brighter blue which is going to be called federation blue another one of these secret weapon miniatures mech lines that i'm really getting into right now looking good you see it's some we got some transitions he's real dark so bear with the lighting i gotta throw the light up to max for you just to be able to see some of the details here and we're just going to start shooting some of those colors into the recesses, uh, into some of these uh, more interesting areas like the bottom of the greaves, the center of the knee pad. And we're going to bring some of that beautiful Titan Dark Navy, just pure. No more black blue wash. Just let it do what it's going to do. Let it play with the colors. This is the second pass. Now, we did one pass, let it dry. The second pass is going to be a lot brighter. That's usually how it works with glazing and don't get it twisted. Airbrushing is glazing. So let's just speed it up so you can really see what's happening here. And we're going to add Federation blue to the mix. Like I said earlier, it's a clean looking blue. I mean, look at that. That is mm. so a little of that dark uh, Titan navy color in the pot we're gonna throw a little of that federation blue in there kind of get a nice in between once we get it nice and thin i'm actually going to crank down the inline P uh, psi controller this is on my gsi creos from mr hobby i love it i can i can go down to almost no psi get in really tight and really focus down on the regions that i want to while preserving some nice clean transitions but also allows me not to overdo it here like i ain't trying to turn this guy into an ultramarine by accident same deal, bottom of the greaves, just add to everything you're doing. Keep it dark, keep it subtle. Know that you're gonna do most of your 
aggressive highlighting with the paintbrush and this is just a way to get the smoothest darkest blues with a little bit of an interesting complexity to it utilizing the airbrush techniques you know let some stuff dry going for around two you can build them up as you go but like i said if it starts getting a little crazy a little too blue it's all good because we're gonna do something we're gonna be introducing a, a new technique that we showed you guys in the last video so stay tuned for that you don't want to miss that so we ran the pot out we're gonna throw a little bit more of that federation blue in the old pot all by itself thin it down like we do and this will be the final pass we're gonna go extra thin keep the psi extra low with that inline control valve and we're just gonna subtly glaze very transparent paint in over some of those areas that we just did so it will shift and glaze it's kind of like think of like colored glass like if you had a color like a bright blue colored glass and you laid it over a dark blue colored glass and you shine light through it kind of what would you see that's kind of what we're doing with this glazing technique very soft very precise and just bringing in something nice here like a little bit of dimension now you could leave it like that. You could just leave it that hyphy and don't get it twisted guys. I love leaving it like this, but I want to go after some more of that traditional crimson fist. And this is going to be a study and getting those colors down and what we could do with the wash game to get close to it. Now, any questions about highlighting or edge highlighting, we will cover that live on Twitch as we always do. Now, if you missed the live show, don't worry. You can always catch our VODs on patreon you see all of our body of work for the last three years on twitch old rust this is one of my favorite colors old rusty bastard we're going to just do a quick base coat on everything that is red now this isn't really a red right this is like a maroon kind of a rusty dirty brown i love this as a color to shift up on red works really good if you just do a quick base coat we're gonna do the power fist his other hand uh maybe this knee pad just a couple of red details i really just want to cover the staples of that crimson fist lifestyle okay subtle you know it's it's gonna stick to the blue okay you know but like let it dry do a second pass keep it thin be patient and then we're gonna pull the airbrush back out we're gonna use a couple of new reds that i haven't really showed here on the stream before now there you can see what we're trying to do here let's get that knee pad and let's just keep going be precise paint by numbers don't get it all over the blue you want to keep it in the borders in the lines just like you did when you were in kindergarten yes good old rust get the other knee pad i'm just guessing here man i don't know shit about <laughs> crimson fist honestly i'm just like you know what more red loving that he's got it you got to get his other hand though crimson fist literally even they're like regular ass human sized hand gotta be red so you gotta go in there sneak in there get all the fingers get the thumb get the back of the hand all that boom red fist you guys are fucking geniuses crimson fist <laughs> so as we move forward we're gonna be pulling out neo burnt red another one of these new secret weapon colors and we're gonna layer this right over old rust we're going to thin it down, put it in our airbrush. We're going to lower that PSI controller valve and we're going to get it really close. And we're just going to let this glaze in over it and shift it, giving us a very interesting red, not a traditional red, but we're going to be you know, with something unique, you know, because we always do the same reds. We always do the same blues. So let's focus on just, you know, reaching into our drawer of secret web miniature paints and making a beautiful classic chapter color scheme look really good. Not using any GW colors, not using anything that we planned out. Just kind of just hope to show that like basically, you know, as long as you have high quality paints, you can do whatever you want. So we're just going to shoot in on these knees, make them look their best. We'll come back with the paintbrush at some point, but we're going to do a second round after that dries, reinforce it all. Now there is another red I really like called Comet Red. We're going to use a little Comet Red. Do a final kind of little subtle highlight now we don't want it to be a blistering transition we want it to be just like a unique red with a little bit of highlighting because like i said anything i'll do i'll do it aggressively on the edge later but i have no problems leaving it like this guys I'd la you can leave it like this just do all your details let that airbrush work ride i'm with that 
all day, every day. Mm. Now, you guys remember last video? We were working on that Sentry bot, and like I just had to turn the camera on real quick to show you some new products. So here, here's what I did real quick. I just knocked out all the details super fast. So we're going to do the OG Next Level Painting 101 system with a twist. We're going back to the multi-black guys. Mr. Hobby, Spray Gunner, thank you guys. And we are going to do an aggressive wash all over this Marine like you've seen me doing using the solvent from Spray Gunner, everything. This is all Mr. Hobby Spray Gunner support. And there he is. So I'm going to show you some of the things I've learned because it's been weeks since I actually made that video and I've done lots of experimenting. So I'm going to take the solvent and just kind of start prepping some areas. I'm just painting the solvent right over this model. And I also want to show you guys, it's not going to fuck with the, the paint at all. I just painted all these details. I just did all this. There's no varnish here. Now we're going to start introducing some of the oil semi-aggressively. It's capillary action is going to pull it into the water or I mean the uh, solvent that we laid down. And we're just going to be dipping into solvent, dipping back in the wash. We're going to put it down. If we think it's too aggressive, we're going to grab a little solvent, disperse it. We're just going to go crazy. See, remember last video, I was being very delicate and I was like, yo, I think that I can go so hard on this. So I've learned you can. So we're going to go super hard. We're going to push that oil into the crevices. It's going to shift this blue into a really dark blue. It's going to flow. Look at like look at that terminus crux or whatever that shit's called on the shoulder. Look how instantly that just took to the wash. The red looks good. Everything is going to have this nice like realistic matte oil wash as we move forward. We're, you're not going to be shy about using the solvent to whip wick it away from some of the raised areas. And even if it dried kind of patchy, it has a really desirable patchy effect. It looks worn. Also, you remember in that last video where I used a little bit of that cotton swab technique, kind of did some repair work. Well, I'm going to show a little bit of that here today with this straight up full body, all aggro ass wash. So he's looking good, feeling it. What about that bolter? Bow. Yo, come on. Real talk. <laughs> Multi black. Get it. Put it in your arsenal. I promise you, you'll be happy. Just keep going with it. Keep setting it up. And now you can work this oil for some time. And it's not, it doesn't really take that long to dry, but you have a long workability time with reactivation from the solvent. We're just kind of doing some inspecting, seeing where, where, where he's at. We did this base, that Japanese hero line. You know, probably gonna do a heavy wash there. Wick it away if we see it pulling anywhere. We don't like it. Just staying active. Stay busy. That's that's how the wash game works. Add some to this other grief over here. I think we're actually just doing some subtraction, some basic uh, solvent on the brush subtraction where we're just moving it around, kind of repairing it. You don't have to do it all with the cotton swab. It's actually something I learned. My brush works just fine. So this is 90% solvent with the smallest amount of black in it. And we're just going to drop a couple in, you know, a couple spots into his face. And this is a black wash over skin. It's fine. It, it does good work. It stays pretty subtle once it dries, especially if you go on thin. Now, there's still a lot to do on this on this wash job. I am not panicking because I know I can reactivate it with the cotton swabs. And since the last video, I discovered that Mr. Hobby makes their own brand of cotton swabs because I use my own. They suck. Their brand is very tight packed cotton and no fibers will basically fall off into your paint. So we're using a little bit of solvent on the cotton on the tip of the cotton and we're subtracting any aggressive buildup from some of the raised areas that I want more of that shiny blue to poke through or some of that red. And you just take your time, just you know, rub it very softly. And like I said, we did all this with the airbrush. We didn't varnish it. None of our acrylic paint is getting peeled up from the previous coats. It is a miracle. Mr. Hobby, they have that advanced technology over there. Big shout out. I'm loving it. Never would have thought to use this stuff. And we're just doing some basic repair. We're going to set him down in front of the fan, let him dry for about five minutes, and then I'll show it off. But you guys want to know a big secret? If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I just painted this amazing Abaddon model, 100% oil wash. That's how confident I am in this. So this is where we're at. We're going to take it to the next level live on Twitch. Now, hey, guys, thank you guys for watching all these videos and supporting me. If you guys didn't know, we do have a swag shop. We update it with new designs based on crowd support over on Twitch and Patreon weekly. We got all sorts of new fresh stuff in there. Thank you guys so much for the support. Don't forget, 
everyone who's watching this video right now gets 15% off. Just input the code you see on the screen. Play on, players.